World Health Organization 2003 and 2006 reports indicate that over 85% of adults in the United States have gum disease. Most don't even realize it. In the beginning, symptoms can be slight, a little bleeding when you brush your teeth or puffy gums. But if not dealt with in the early stages, periodontal disease can lead to receding gums, lost teeth, and chronic bad breath. Studies have also discovered an association between infected gums and other dangerous health conditions. Scientists have published over a thousand studies showing a possible link between gum disease and systemic illnesses like heart disease, respiratory disease, blood clots, strokes, diabetes, and other dangerous health conditions. Uh, my gums were a great deal more sensitive and a little puffy. And I always had some infected gums. And no matter what you do, uh, it always comes back. And my mouth didn't feel real clean, so I thought, well, maybe there's some gum disease going on that I don't re really know about. So what exactly is gum or periodontal disease? How does it develop, and what can you do about it? Between your teeth and your gums is a small valley called the sulcus, or periodontal pocket. It's only one to three millimeters deep in healthy gum tissue. Brushing and flossing usually keep this area clean and healthy. There are special cells in the sulcus that form a saliva-like fluid that flows out of the pocket. The fluid is called crevicular flow, and the body produces it to help keep the area clean. If food, plaque, or tartar builds up in this area, the gums become infected. They will appear puffy and become tender. This early infection is called gingivitis and can progress to periodontitis. Unfortunately, most people with swollen gums will decide it is too painful to brush or floss, and this just lets the infection continue. As the infection worsens, the gums become even more inflamed, and the infection may reach the bone supporting the teeth so that the teeth become less stable. If the infection increases, the ultimate result is the loss of bone, teeth, and gums. But the problem may not be limited to your mouth. The lining of the gum tissue beside the teeth is one to two cells thick. When bacteria have invaded these cells, small ulcers are formed that may provide a pathway for the bacteria to enter your bloodstream. Because the bacteria may threaten more than your teeth and gums, it is important to talk to your doctor about your risk factors and get professional treatment for any infected areas of your mouth. Dentists have many options when treating your gum disease. The standard cleaning procedures, called scaling and root planing, can help to remove plaque and tartar and reduce some of the bacteria involved. Often the disease is extensive enough that this is only a partial solution. Since the condition is an infection, many dentists have attempted to place antibacterial medications in the sulcus to help kill the pathogens. But remember the crevicular fluid that your body makes to clean your gum tissue? With an increased infection, the fluid flow increases, sometimes as much as 30 times. It is impossible to maintain enough of the medication in the pocket to kill the bacteria because the medication is constantly flushed out. In response to all these obstacles, a new option has been developed. The Perio Protect Method. Using the custom-formed Perio trays, antibacterial medication is directed to the source of the infection. The seals in the tray hold the medication in the sulcus long enough to kill the bacteria and control the infection. Your dentist will prescribe the best medication for your situation, and by wearing the trays for minutes each day, your infection can be controlled. I could do it at home. I didn't have to have an appointment to go see anyone, that it was, that it was up to me to actually make sure that I got the process done in, in the way that it was described. I stick them in and hop on my exercise bike for a while or watch television. It is easy and it works. In fact, research from microbiologists shows that after 17 days of PerioProtect treatment, 99.98% .98 of the dangerous bacteria were killed. The PerioProtect method overcomes previous obstacles, is easy, comfortable, and a very effective option. While a serious medical condition, your periodontal disease does not have to diminish your quality of life. Now that you understand what is going on in your mouth and some of the options you have, you can take control and put yourself back on the road to a healthy smile. 
Please don't hesitate to ask your dentist or other medical staff about anything you have heard here and let them help you conquer periodontal disease. I really feel good about smiling again. The end results are just great, so why wouldn't you want to do it? My gums aren't sore or sensitive like they used to be, uh, and they all seem to be more of a uniform color, a nice healthy pink, so I'm happy with that, and hopefully I'll get to keep my teeth longer. <laughs>